this is one of the many strange and bizarre instruments that I have and that a lot of film composers, um, you know, end up collecting a lot of oddities because uh, one of the great things about doing music for film is, um, you know, you never know what kind of instruments you're going to need or what kind of sounds you're going to need. And it's a medium where you can use a lot of experimental things because they, you know, they produce a certain kind of sound. Uh, this in particular is basically a giant handmade uh, kalimba or thumb piano from Africa. And um, I like this one a lot because um, it produces a lot of uh, pretty strange sounds that you can manipulate after. And, you know, it, it, it is sort of removed from, sonically removed from the fact that it's an African instrument. This sounds very much like a lot of the kalimbas but when you're if you record some of these isolated sounds these kind of things can be manipulated you know through a number of means through other uh, exterior um, external processors or samplers and be slowed down or whatever and can have a whole other sort of uh, meaning to the sound, per se. On the Planet of the Apes soundtrack, uh, Jerry Goldsmith had um, an elderly percussionist who had been the percussionist on some of the early Warner Brothers cartoons, Carl Stalling work, and some of the early Mickey Mouse cartoons. And so he had all these like handmade, uh, bizarre percussion instruments to make some of those sound effects that we hear now on those cartoons, but you know, it was him actually physically playing them. And so that's why one of the unusual qualities of that soundtrack is like all those really strange sounds. And he was saying in an interview that he would never have gotten some of those sounds if it wasn't for that one guy and his collection of, of bizarre percussion instruments. <laughs> 